Hey, welcome church. Uh, thank you for taking time to, to check out these videos each week that the elders are putting together. Uh, I hope you uh, use these perhaps to guide you in some of your personal study during the week. Uh, but also, uh, these videos are something that you can use when you're one another groups meet together. And at the end of this video, I'll give you some uh, discussion prompts that, you, that will help you perhaps uh, to initiate some discussion as you meet together in your one another small groups. Uh, so thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, grabbing those white notebooks. Uh, I hope that uh, these resources uh, are helpful in your personal study of the Book of Romans. Uh, I hope you're coming on Sunday morning and this Sunday morning and, and have already put some thought and written some things down from Romans chapter 3. And uh, so so thanks for doing it. It's a real blessing to us as pastors to know that uh, our people are engaged in God's word and uh, seeking his truth and helping one another and encouraging one another to do that. Uh, I have the blessing this Sunday uh, on, uh, on October the 30th to finally get to a place in Rome where, in Romans where we get an answer to the problem that's been presented the last several weeks by the other pastors and they've had some difficult passages to teach through because there's not been hope in those passages there's it's been passages of of hopelessness of darkness of of absolute uh lostness and the in, the inability of man to in, do anything in his own power to be right with god and uh when we're not right with god our sin brings upon us god's wrath God's judgment. And so finally in this passage, in Romans chapter 3, verses 21 to 26 this Sunday, uh, we will be able to turn the corner and God is going to reveal to us his uh, plan of salvation. His plan that in this passage, it, it works its way through on, on, this was something that, that God does, completely does. Uh, because we're helpless to do any of it. And the way that God the Father works this out is through his son, Jesus Christ. And this passage is filled with really lots of rich, deep concepts and terms. And I would encourage you uh, as you do your, do your study or maybe even as you meet in your group to maybe discuss some of these terms, uh, redemption and justification. Uh, the, the terms of, of atonement uh, that, that you find in this passage and, and, and even grace and faith and what those things mean. Or in your personal study, grab a, a Bible dictionary and just go online and uh, Google a Bible dictionary and look up some of those terms. Uh, it's an amazingly uh, rich, concentrated passage that's going to show us uh, what God's up to in salvation. Uh, just some, some things that you might want to discuss uh, in, your, in your small group in response to this passage. Uh, one thing, uh, this might be a great opportunity for you to put on one of your prayer, prayer pages in your journals uh, the names of some people you know and others in your group know who don't know Christ. And start making a list and start praying as a group that God would give you all opportunities to share the good news of Jesus, to share Romans 3, 21 to 26 with someone who needs Christ. And, and so uh, if you've not done this yet, maybe as a group, uh, collect the names and begin praying for people that you know who need the gospel. Uh, another thing that, that you might want to try to do, if uh, you want to have a little fun with your group, is uh, you could role play and have one person in your group uh, be the unbeliever and be asking the questions and have the rest of the group walk through this passage on how one comes to know Christ, how one comes to obtain uh, this righteousness, this right standing with God. And uh, that might just be a really good exercise to, to, to practice as a group walking someone uh, into what it means to be saved towards salvation. Uh, and then when you end that role play, as you end it, it's the, it's the question, are you right with God? 
Have you been justified with God? Or are you still under God's condemnation? And that's the, that's the point where we're asking someone to respond to this truth. Uh, and then thirdly, uh, you could discuss in your group, why did Christ have to die? What, what did his death accomplish? So why did he have to die and what did it accomplish? And that, that's, that's from this passage and through uh, lots and lots. That's the whole heart of the, of the uh, Old and New Testament. But in, from this passage in particular, uh, that would be another wonderful thing to study. So I just want to remind you uh, that on November the 6th, uh, we will be gathering together for a family meeting at 6 p.m. that night. And we'd love to have many of you come and bring your questions uh, submit your questions to Barb in the church office or to Marty Larson. He's he's willing to moderate that evening again. And what a great time at that elder panel discussion on November the 6th at 6 p.m. to uh, just have further conversation of questions that arise from your small groups or from your personal study uh, in God's Word. And then for November the 13th, our next passage is the rest of Romans chapter 3, verses 27 to 31. And so you'll actually have two weeks to work on that passage and uh, to be ready for it on November the 13th. Uh, I think that's it. I hope you're memorizing God's word. I hope you're praying for one another. Uh, as always, the uh, pastors covet your prayers as we study these passages and present them on Sunday. And uh, just uh, we're excited about uh, this study in Romans and are thankful for where God's taking us as a church through this. So God bless you. Enjoy your, your study of Romans and your conversations with your one another groups. Bye.